Now a brief overview of what I will be discussing includes just a couple of points about ADR, uh, what I prefer to call appropriate dispute resolution as opposed to alternative dispute resolution, before I then launch into this explaining to you what adjudication fundamentally is, uh, how it is mainly applied in the construction industry, how the uh, advantages of, of speed and cost effectiveness in adopting this method of uh, dispute resolution, then go on to compare contractual and statutory adjudication regimes before rounding off addressing the different statutory adjudication regimes that you have in around the region, including Singapore, Malaysia, and then going further afield into the United Kingdom, Australia and New Zealand if time permits. Now, appropriate dispute resolution in general, traditionally referred to as the alternate or alternative dispute resolution as it referred to methods as to the alternative to the conventional dispute resolution methods of arbitration and art litigation, taking into account speed, economic fe feasibility, and most importantly, their likelihood of achieving a resolution of the parties involved. It has, however, in the recent years, uh, especially in my practice, uh, developed into what is more uh, referred to as appropriate dispute resolution. The reason for that is that it's no longer what is alternative to arbitration or litigation, but more so what is more appropriate in the situation. Now, in, in ADR, you know that you have two broad areas. You have something called consensual uh, 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 dispute resolution, and this can include uh, matters, uh, methods such as conciliation, negotiations, and mediations through which parties themselves attempt at times with the aid or assistance of a third party, for example, a negotiator, a conciliator, or a mediator, to reach an agreement uh, which is both, both parties are comfortable with. Now, as opposed to conceptual uh, 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 method of, of dispute resolution, you have what the other opposing part, which is called adjudicative method of dispute resolution. Now here, in an adjudicative method of dispute resolution, you actually have a third party making the decisions for you. Now you can either be neutral evaluation, for example, expert determination, dispute avoidance, and a resolution, and a resolution board, adjudication, arbitration, or litigation, all of which through which a third party is appointed to evaluate, determine, adjudicate, make awards, or pass judgment on the disputes. So now, that gives you a broad idea. What is critical then with appropriate dispute resolution is the speed, the pace of the proceedings, whether it's suitable to the parties, the efficiencies, the binding nature of, uh, of the, the decision that's made either consensually or through a third party adjudicatively. Now, this issue of binding can easily be settled if parties simply um, agree to have uh, agree to the, uh, the 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 matter being binding. So, for example, if if parties agree and come to a consensus and they sign an agreement, that agreement is binding. Obviously, if a uh, adjudicator makes any neutral evaluation, in so far as uh, parties agree before they enter into that, that stage of uh, dispute resolution mechanism. If they agree that they want to be bound by it, then they are bound by it. So it's a simple exercise of agreeing to have a matter bind the parties, right? And if you do that, there is no concern whether or not the dispute resolution mechanism is um, binding, whether it's acceptable, whether it, uh, it ends the matter and so on, right? Now with that as a framework, let me just then go straight into what adjudication is. Now adjudication is a form of dispute resolution method where an independent adjudicator resolves the disputes by providing a determination or a decision. Now that is very different from a settlement agreement that you enter into in a mediation or an award that is made in an arbitration 
or a judgment that is passed in court, right? Um, and effectively, the adjudication is a provisional, impartial assessment uh, based on the party submissions and evidence that they provide. And it, at, the, at the end of the day, it may not alter the final contractual positions of the parties. It will be essentially about an issue that they raise. For example, when work is done in, in, in a particular month and you, want, you have a payment claim, which I will discuss in a while, you're trying to get that resolved. It is not ultimately the whole project. It will be just for a particular item or a particular dispute. And that's what adjudication is about. Now, it involves an independent third-party adjudicator giving an interim decision on a dispute which must be implemented by the parties. The adjudicator must reach their decision within a fixed time frame and in accordance with an agreed procedure. So you have an agreed procedure and a fixed time frame, both of which I'll come back to uh, when, we, when I go on a little further. Now, a party that disagrees with the determination at the end of the day may eventually still take the matter to arbitration or litigation for final dis uh, di to, to finally dispose of the claim. Now, very often you find that this method of dispute resolution is used in construction industry, right? And let me explain a little bit about why that is so. Now, while adjudication can apply to all types of dispute, it is often used for disputes arising under the contract in a building and construction industry. A form of pay now and you argue later approach, which means when a contractor is faced with a, a claim that has not been paid up, he turns to adjudication as a quick method to get that money up front. Now, ultimately, whether he was right or wrong in it, or whether he's entitled to that, may be left best left at the end of the matter through the process of arbitration or adjudication or our litigation if necessary now the chances are while a, a, a contractor may take a claim and and recover money quickly on the basis of adjudication it may not be necessary that the employer at the end of the day at the end of the matter still comes back after the contractor for for that to be accounted for uh, in the experience that I've had, maybe 10% of matters that are adjudicated will eventually be brought back into the fold, brought back to be argued by way of arbitration or litigation. Now, in the construction industry, you must appreciate that because of the mix of the many variables, the people, the relationships, the conflicting interests, the complexity of the design and the engineering process, and the importance of the time and cost, uh, issues, it becomes very important that uh, a method of dispute resolution really assists the parties to resolve the matters and that's what becomes critical and you find that the, 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 uh, in the construction industry what we, uh, many will, uh, will do is to turn to this form of dispute resolution adjudication. Right Now, following through with that uh, uh, you find that uh, in construction adjudications, it's often referred to as a quick and dirty way of resolving a dispute. Quick and dirty in the sense that it's very fast in a short time frame, and dirty in the sense that some there are times when the employers are caught off guard, and because of the process of this adjudication method, and the procedures that are set in place, it almost seems like the contractor have ambushed their uh, employers and have got their money expeditiously. But the flip side of it is this. If the contractor has actually done the work, then surely he must be entitled to this money, right? So the desired effect of, of going by the method of adjudication is that uh, the, the contractual provisions are exercised uh, and, and uh, the dispute is resolved as soon as possible, right? Now, uh, as I'll explain with the various jurisdictions that have got adjudication regimes in place, you'd find that uh, many have uh, decided that the adjudication decisions are far better than taking the matter into arbitration or into court, all right? Now, so the 
essential benefit of, of going by the way of adjudication is that in, the ba in its most basic form, adjudication is intended to provide a speedy, efficient and cheap resolution to the disputes concerning a variety of claims that the party may have. And in most complex forms, it can involve the resolution of all disputes as well. So when I describe the different uh, uh, countries and how they have the, the adjudication regimes, you'll find that in some countries it just uh, resolves payment disputes, but in others it could resolve a whole lot of other matters as well. Right, so speed and, and cost effectiveness is a critical part. The key difference between adjudication and all other forms of dispute resolution, therefore, is that it is carried out within a strictly limited time frame, depending on what the governing statute is. So about the issue about governing statute, I'll explain that in a while as well. So again, coming back, the speed and cost effectiveness of adjudication as compared to litigation and uh, uh, arbitration makes it an uh, uh, attractive dispute resolution mechanism for stakeholders in the construction industry as this is an industry in which cash flow is critical right and construction adjudications are often to refer to, I mentioned to you quick and dirty way of resolving the dispute right and uh, it is really quite accepted in the industry